Hello, Sim Gamers. We're back with some Sailwind Early Access. The Sailwind crew have been hard at work adding features, and 0.18 comes with a big one. Coming up right now, we're upgrading our DAO with a new sail configuration made possible by sail customization available in 0.18. Let's get into it. We have a couple of pieces of cargo uh, from Neverdean heading back to Gold Rock City, which should give us enough money to um, be able to customize our ship. Now that ship customization is in, this update is uh, this video is as of update 0.18, which means the basic ships, including this one, or the beginner ships, including this one, um, can be customized in the shipyard. So we're going to take a look at what customizations we can do uh, and then take it uh, for a maiden voyage after some sail customization to find out, you know, sort of how the ship behaves. Okay, so we've pulled up the sail and we're going to just go ahead and get ourselves into the shipyard over here. A little bit hard to see at night, but the shipyard's a separate area where we are going to go to customize our sail. Now I'm going to take advantage of one of the other nice new uh, 118 feature or 0.18 features, which is the ability to sleep through the night, regardless of how tired you are, and that the uh, fast forward bar fast forwards much faster. Yes. Now morning time. So the first thing we need to do is remove the existing sail. This mast could have two sails on it if I wanted to, but um, I'm actually going to go ahead and raise the mast, make it a tall one. And it'll tell you how much um, gold everything is going to cost over here. So, so far it's going to cost me eleven forty-five. dollars um, I'd like a forest day, but in order for that forest day, high forest day to work, it's giving me an error. It says a uh, high forest day requires a bowsprit. So let's go ahead and add one of those. Um... The roof is going to be in the, ra in the way of everything. Okay, so we've got that selected. Now let's go ahead and select some sails. We're going to add... Here's all the different sail sizes, uh, types we have. The only ones that function, that work with this one. Like if I go through the various categories, nothing's available except for stay sails. So we'll just grab... Um, it's a large Dow jib. Give me an issue. I guess it's uh, too big. Uh, add a sail. So we'll go to stay sails. Cutter jib one. Looks pretty good. Um, and then on the other mast, we'll add a nice gaff. Eight yard short gaff. That's a heck of a gaff. Holy heck. And remove that one. I think I'll go with the regular six yard gaff. Looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a little bit more customization we can do. Like, for instance, we can. Oh. Heck yeah. We can move this up and down, which means actually um, we can have our roof again. I'll go ahead and go with a cloth roof. It's fine. Even though the rope clips a little bit, you know, it's doesn't have to be perfect. I can move it way up there. I think I like it about there. That gives us a pretty cool little set of sails, actually. Um, makes us much more like a sloop than any other, anything else. And apparently costs us uh, 2,785 gold for these modifications. And also add on a hull cleaning for our 210 gold. Sure. Just shy of 3,000 gold to make this modification. And with that, we can be done. ship is now moored. 
back over here, although awkwardly. Because the ropes are crossing, but you know what? <clears throat> it'll it'll work. Let's go find a nice little cargo trip with our new with our new configuration and see what we what uh, they want to do. Okay, Sim Gamers, we are about as ready as we can be uh, with this uh, ship configured more like a sloop than anything else. We've got a gaff rig and a stay sail. So, um, let's get ourselves underway. Looks like we're headed fairly well crosswind, so uh, the wind's blowing across our bow. Or currently blowing uh, starboard to port. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get ourselves moving. Hey, we're underway. Looks like based on this wind, we can really just pull the gaff in. And then we need to head northeast. Sorry, northwest. Which is that away into the storm, basically. Well, we're sailing, and this is one of the ways you like with this type of ship how to control the left and right steering tendency. To so just make sure that the uh, the stay uh, sail is correctly adjusted. If we let it out, we tend to turn. To the left, if we pull it in tighter, wind will tend to push us more to starboard, in this case, because the wind is blowing from port to starboard. We're headed into a storm, so we'll definitely want to keep an eye on the, the height of waves and all that good stuff. But this is it. Our sails are now configured. Spending just shy of 3,000 gold to reconfigure the sail plan for this uh, ship. Running a gaff and stay sail. And we are sailing directly into the storm. There's land up ahead that I need to worry about. I wonder if I shouldn't um, turn hard to port and tack through. Okay, we've gone hard port, we've tacked through. I'm gonna tighten up the um, starboard side sheet winch here for the for the stay sail. And if I need to, I'll let the other line out. It doesn't look like I need to at the moment. We are drifting a little bit uh, to starboard. So that means I'm going to go ahead and loosen up here. Actually, loosen up here. Maybe I'll release by two. See how that does. Myself lined up, more or less. I'm pretty happy with that stability. Ship's configured for sailing. Can go ahead and sail through the night here. Make sure I have my food and water taken care of. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I moved my cook uh, my um, cheese back here. Mm, 
can probably grab another one. I mean, this is as close hauled as I dare go. But that means I'm going north, northwest. <clears throat> and if I sail up this way through the night, then I'll want to turn pretty much west, northwest in the morning. Nothing that a little bit of uh, navigation by landmark can't solve. We're getting further away from Gold Rock City, slowly but surely. Uh, food and water's fine. Let's go ahead and sleep it off. These kind of journeys can take a little bit when you're tacking into the wind all the time. Okay, it's morning time and our ship has practically turned around. Or has it? No, excellent. We're now seeing the uh, other parts of the islands. Um, Gold Rock's due east of us, so that puts us close to the close to the Isle of Clear Mind, which is probably. Probably this one right here. Which means we should be in a good position to hopefully just turn north. Now more or less facing north, and we will go ahead and trim for neutral sailing. Yeah, I think we're pretty well set with this configuration. And let's uh, get some bearings to things. East with a little bit south to Gold Rock City. And we have this island up here, uh, west by northwest, north, yeah, west, northwest. And then there is an island. Halfway between southwest and south southwest. <clears throat> Not that the wind would let us, but we could still probably go north northwest and be fine. But that isn't in the cars today. We'll just go ahead and sail with what we've got. This is probably a decent time for a beauty shot. Okay, due west to whatever that is over there, probably Al Nalim. Um, 
east southeast to uh, Gold Rock City. Which puts me right at about on the lower left corner of the capital A on the map. Um, with this course and wind, we are actually not making the most efficient use of our sail at the moment. Um, basically, you want like a 45 degree angle to deflect off that sail. So we're going to go ahead and let this out some. I'll let it out four pegs and see how that seems to work. Get myself back on course here because the front sail is, or the stay sail is really pushing on me hard. But if that looks about right, then we let this one out. Maybe two notches. See how that does for our course. I'm going to get us ready for a little bit more close hauled. Actually, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. Never mind. Never mind. And the reason is... I'll probably want to come from the south end of that island. Yeah, let's let this uh, particular sheet winch back out. So I can see the Academy by sunset. Let's see here. If I sleep now, my chances of overshooting it are much lower. It is very dark. And I can see the lights of the Academy. Heck yes. All right. Pretty successful secondary voyage in um, with my custom sail setup. I'm more than sure momentum will carry us the rest of the way in. And the fact that the wind is at our backs just generally means it's pushing on the whole ship anyway, so. We're here. Let's go ahead and tie off to arrest our forward movement. And we can unload all of our goodies. That guy never sleeps. Always available to take delivery. And there you have it. The maiden voyage of our customized Dow. Uh, pretty much rigged uh, like a sloop. We rigged it with a a uh, gaff rig, gaff sail. Uh, we rose the mast, made it higher, rigged it with a gaff sail, and um, a bowsprit. Put a stay line down to the bowsprit and stuck on a stay sail as well. And there we have it. Tune in next time when we take a look at customizations for the Kakum. Until then, I'm Sim Gamer, and this, once again, has been Sailwind. <laughs>